Hey guys, it's Cameron here. Got gaming news for you guys today. Today is Tuesday, December 20th. Let's go ahead and get started. The company Nyko, which is known for making video game accessories for the game systems we play, will have a lot of accessories to show off at CES 2012. And I'll go ahead and go over a little bit of that with you guys. Um, they're gonna have some Vita accessories, um, some new, uh, new redesigned items for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Uh, some known and unannounced um, accessories and a power grip for the 3DS and a charge base 3 for the PlayStation 3 and a zoom lens for Kinect. So that's pretty cool. Moving on from that, Nintendo has said they will be at CES, which is probably obvious since I did talk about how the Wii U would be at CES. But anyway, they said they will be at CES but won't will not show anything new. Now that kind of bothers me since, you know, the Wii U is supposedly supposed to be coming out later 2012, which is not even far at all. I mean, it's about to be 2012. So, you know, once 2012 hits, you know, anything that comes out in the year, I mean, you know, it's not that far away. Yeah, it's a little far, but not really. But, you know, as Wii U will, they have been saying that it will come at the end of the year. I mean, if they're not going to show anything, I mean, it's like, why bring it? Now, they'll probably show a re- reintroduce it to the crowd that don't doesn't not know about the Wii U or not doesn't know much about it but I just think for the people that do know about it and just waiting for information I think Nintendo's not doing a great job of you know making it more known for you know to people that already know about it you know I even want to know about it. I'm interested I'm not a Nintendo person but I am interested but Nintendo's not doing much justice as far as information goes but you never know. They might actually show something new. They're just saying that in this article. I don't know. But there's probably going to be a lot of news at um, other gaming conventions. More gaming than electronic-wise conventions. But anyway, moving on from that. A new teaser from the Etz and Fandy Ward creators. Um, Respawn's first EA title. Now, the creators of Infinity Ward or whatever, you guys may have heard about the Call of Duty fight against Activision, blah, 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 and, you know, a lot of things went down, and basically those two um, Infinity Ward members left and went to EA and then created the company Respawn, and not uh, nothing has been known if they're working on anything, but now there's a tease of a blurry picture, which I'll show you guys in just one moment, of their new IP, so that sounds pretty interesting. Like I said, it's with EA, so, yeah, but I'll show you guys the picture real quick. It's blurry, so it's kind of like no point, but there you go and right here there's uh in like down here in the articles talking about how these their guesses as two guys right here I have no idea what else is in here and they're saying trees mountains a lake i don't know i mean hey it all works their suggestions seem right but i guess we'll wait and see when uh, official details are released but moving on from that it has been said that the double may cry hd collection is confirmed for the US and I guess Europe also for a April release. They're actually saying April 3rd and it will be coming out to Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 for $39.99. Moving on from that, the voice actor of Solid Snake is actually impressed with Metal Gear Solid Rising. But a lot of people not into the Metal Gear Rising Revengeance thing, how it's not, it loses its Metal Gear Solid um, elements and Stuff like that, people, a lot of Metal Gear fans are not really happy with it. Now, I'm not a big Metal Gear fan. I played Metal Gear Solid 4. I thought it was really cool. Now, I wouldn't go back and play the other ones and see how they're like before. But, um, Metal Gear Rising is actually just my type of game. So, I love Metal Gear Rising, really. But, um, the, uh, also in this article, it talks about how, um, you know, possibly sk a Snake would be a guest character to have a little cameo in a game. But, the voice actor says he has no information if Snake will be in the game. Basically, he was saying no, but he, you never know. Platinum Games might even give him a call and, you know, to, to voice Snake or whatever. But he doesn't really know anything about him, well, Snake being in the game or anything. But anyway, moving on from that, Kingdom Hearts 3D Dream Drop Distance will be coming to America in Europe next year. As you guys know, or may not know uh the uh what is it called jump fiesta or whatever is going on i think it's still going on right now and they showed off a new trailer for kingdom hearts 3d dream drop resistance um it's eight minutes long it's awesome amazing um and it shows a lot of new stuff but it's eight minutes long you can go check it out 
is great. But um, it has been said that it will be coming to Japan of March of next year. And I'm pretty sure I talked about this yesterday or last game news or whatever. So, yeah, but they're saying it's confirmed for America and Europe for next year also. I'm guessing September, October, but we'll just wait and see. That's This this game is the only reason I bought a 3DS. But anyway, moving on from that. It has been said that PlayStation Vita sales hit 3,000... And th- uh uh-huh, my bad. 3,020, um, hold on, 300,021. Anyway, I keep messing up. 300,021, uh, yeah, uh, 321,000 sales. I don't know why I could not even say that, but anyway, it said that those were the sell numbers for the first two days, so that's pretty awesome. That's just Japan alone. Well, of course, you gotta remember for the people that imported it, but I'm not sure if that is good. They're saying the PSP's uh, day one sales was 166,000, so I mean, I guess that's good. I mean, it's better than PSP, what PSP did, I guess, but um, yeah, pretty awesome. Like, and then they had two models. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Pretty good, as far as I know, but can't wait till it comes here in America. But next, um, don't know why I'm mentioning this. I, I'll just have a quick little rant about it. Um, it has been said that the PlayStation Vita is the best handheld gaming device ever created, says Sony. Now, of course, I'm a PlayStation fanboy. You don't, I wouldn't mind this at all, but this doesn't just go for Sony. That goes for my, a lot of people. When pe- uh, like the creators of the product uh, review it and say it's the best thing. I mean, I know that's just promoting, but honestly, I think that's just stupid. I think. I mean, obviously they're gonna say something good about it, but it's just like really, really. But the PlayStation Vita is the best um, handheld game device. I just don't like how Sony does it like that. I don't know. I'm not sure if that makes sense to you guys, but that just kind of bothers me. But anyway, got one last game of news for you guys. Um, it's still concerning the PlayStation Vita, and I found a pros and cons um, article, and I was just going through it. I wasn't sure if I was really going to use it for this video, but it suddenly caught my eye when I was reading something about you can't use the browser while playing games. Yes, I already know about this, but in the article at the very end, it says Sony have apparently said that they will be fixing this problem with a firmware update soon, so sit tight. I did not hear Sony say anything about them going to make uh, make the Vita able to browse the internet while um, gaming. I mean, yeah, it's a cool feature, but if I mean, if it's not possible, it's probably possible. But if it's too much work, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It's, I don't really see me. Well, I probably will do it since I will have the ability. But you know, just thinking about it, it's like, oh, it doesn't have it. Oh well, I mean not that big of a deal now the 3ds and ipod it goes to talk about how the other devices can do it but vita can but it said the thing that gets me about that last sentence i read to you guys it says sony have apparently that apparently part kind of throws me off it kind of makes me think to even know this for sure or not but um hopefully it's true if not oh well i don't really believe it until it's actually confirmed because i'm seeing this information anywhere else but that's actually about it for gaming news hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching thanks for the support make sure to comment rate and subscribe if you have any um questions or suggestions just leave them down in the comments or you can private message me or you can really just say whatever so yeah but that's all uh like i said i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll chat with you guys later peace